Okay, welcome. Today I want to offer the third part in this um, series. So I've already done the victim to the creator, and then I've done the persecutor to the challenger. Today I want to talk about the rescuer to the coach. So, as I've mentioned before, you've got this codependency triangle here, and victim, persecutor, rescuer, and then on the flip side we've got the empowerment dynamic, which is the creator, the challenger, and the coach. And this comes from the teachings of David Emerald and the Ted. I'm not actually sure the rest of the the, the title of the book, but the the empowerment dynamic uh, by uh, David Emerald. So essentially. You know, the victim is, why me? What's wrong? And often the victim wants to be rescued. It's like, wants someone to save us. You know, someone to come in and fix us. Yeah. And so the rescuer can often not always be a, a person. It's not always a person who comes in and rescues us. What um, David Emerald talks about, he says it, can also be addictions, it can be workaholism, it can be um, sex, it can be food, it can be drugs, it can be drink. So it's something that comes in and it rescues us. So it might be a person, but it might be, you know, an addiction which comes in. So this is important to note. Um, you know, it's the ways that we numb ourselves out. It might be television, it might be being on our phone, you know, some way to rescue ourselves that we're in in victim mode and i'll talk about how we move more into coaching creating um so the persecutor i mentioned uh, the time before and i'll link that into the description and you can watch that the persecutor fears a loss of control you know it's like i've got to control everything you know i've, I've got to give you my you know what i think you know, so that's the persecutor. Fears the loss of control, whereas the rescuer fears the loss of purpose. Yeah? It's like, I need you. Otherwise, I, I, I'm, who am I in, in this world? You know, I'm no one. So in the, you know, 2001, I, 2000, 2001, I spent some time in Romania um as you know doing some aid work over christmas it was about a week 10 days and then i spent a year in africa uh, as well voluntary support um i was an assistant manager for uh, an organization which was doing year abroad three months abroad for for teenagers and people just leaving school and i was uh, helping there and it was like yeah, I, I was trying to fix other people because there was, you know, some, I wasn't well myself. I was very deeply unhappy. Um, so we, the rescuer needs victims. So it's just to really be aware when oh, I'm rescuing, ah, oh, I'm in that space of seeing them as victims. Um, we need someone to protect or fix. So that's what I felt. I felt that if I can help others, it means I can ignore my trauma, my pain inside of me. Um, but that doesn't work, as we will see. So how do we move from rescuer to coach? So the, the immediate thing we can ask is the question. We've got this question. So with the challenger, it's um, persecutor to challenger. Um, I've forgotten the, the question for persecutor to challenger is what is my intention when we want to move from persecuting something to challenging is it to help them you know that's how we move there and then the victim how do we move from victim to creator is to ask instead of why me but what do i want what's my my vision here what do i want in this situation with the rescuer the question is do i believe the person i'm serving is whole without me so the rescuer feels that person in front of them is a victim whereas the coach sees a creator in front of them you are a creator you're a sovereign being yeah 
Um, and then what other things? So a coach supports, assists and facilitates the creator in manifesting a desired outcome. And that next thing is a coach holds others to be whole, resourceful and creative. Again, not a, a victim, you're a whole being. The coach also helps you to dig deep within yourself rather than the persecutor or the rescuer is like, no, this is what you need. You need what I'm going to tell you. Whereas the coach, like my work as a coach is to, to draw their wisdom out, to see that they're whole without me, you know, to see that, you know, what's the clarity about what you do want to create in your life? You know, what is that? Um, the rescuer sees a person as a victim. Yeah, the coach sees someone as a, a, a creator. You know, you can do it on your own. You know, it's like this almost, and I connect this into trauma, is that as children, we're not taught and asked these questions. We're not guided. I was talking, which goes live on, uh, on Monday the 13th of November, with Dr. Naomi Fisher, and she says, self-directed learning is, what does the child like? What does she or he, he or she want? And often the, the, the modern system is, no, no, you need this. Whereas what she's saying is, no, we need to find and draw from within them. What is their passion? What do they love? What are they good at? What are their joy? What's their purpose here? Um, yeah, again, that question, do I believe the person I'm serving is whole without uh, without me? And another thing about coaches, loving the task in front of you. you know, what do I, what, do, what am I doing here? And enjoying that moment. Again, I said last time with the persecutor to the challenger, one of the ways is mindful. What am I feeling? Just being with whatever that feeling is. Again, being with the presence of, hmm, yeah, this is how it feels to be doing this activity. So I think that is all I really want to share about um, about this. You know, final bit maybe is rescuer really feels that the person they're with, they can't do it without them. You've, you've got to have me. You, you can't survive without me. You are a victim. And actually the coach is, no, I see you as whole. You, you don't need me. You know, you are the sovereign, not the victim or, you know, the, the weakling uh, that Robert Moore and Douglas Gillette talk about in their, their book. Um, so, yeah, you know, if you have any questions, um, please do let me know. Um, but, yeah, it's useful just to see when have I gone into one of these things and the victim kind of needs the rescuer and then rescuer goes to persecutor. We get stuck in this this loop. And how we break it is to start to ask these questions. What do I want? To move from victim to creator. You know, another thing, as I've shared before, is change your body posture. If you're a victim, you're kind of inward. Whereas creator's like, right, change your body posture. Shoulders back, head up. The rescuer to the coach, asking that question. You know, do I believe the person I'm serving is whole without me? Um, and then the, the question persecuted to challenger, what is my intention here? So, any questions, please do let me know. Okay, blessings.